Um, my name is Ella and um, I am the director of the short film Crushed and it's going to be in the section Generation at this year's Berlinale and I'm very excited to be here and very honored as well. Okay, I think I can just say, yeah, I don't have so much to I mean, I feel like I'm a little Dann habe alles so ein bisschen ausgelaugt und so ein bisschen lang gezogen vor. Like, okay, we get it. You are obsessed with her. Um, she isn't with you. Thank you, next. Aber dann bitte auch, no thank you, not next, will. <laughs> Keine sick of this shit. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the 37th Teddy Award. My name is Jan Felix Wuttig and today I'm here with director Ella Roca to talk about her film Crushed. Hey Ella, pleased to have you Hello. here. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> and thank you as well for, for the film. Um, I found it to be a very, uh, well, it's, it's eight minutes long, but it's still, it's, it's very moving in the sense that I think many 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 people can relate to it and it's very it's sad at times but it's also very funny in other bits um, maybe you could start uh, with telling us how it actually came about what your initial idea was about the film yes sure um, so thank you for the words <laughs> about the film sure. and um, well I think at the beginning was just really me um, really deep into those feelings, like really being uh, deep into all of the feelings involved in having a crush and um, kind of the having a desire to give space to those feelings and actually um, reflect on them and also maybe emerge out of the feeling of being crushed by all of those feelings and actually um, Uh, get into action and yeah I think that was the the start of of how the project came together well I've, I've found that um, it's very interesting also in the sense how it is constructed because you have at one point you have kind of um, the, the the message itself about about different kind of crushes But also at the same time, you have um, the the making of the film itself. You know, you have you have you, you work with um, you know a cutting program, in which you kind of show the different scenes that you you are kind of employing in in the in the narration of the film. Um, can you tell us a little bit about that? What what the idea was behind that? Yes, sure. Um, yeah. So for me. Um, the form was very important and uh, at the beginning was the idea of having my computer or my desktop um, and it being kind of like my head or my inner thoughts and um, to me it made a lot of sense to to choose this form of, of desktop um, because it kind of fits the the idea of being cut off from reality and just being uh, deep inside um, obsessive uh, thinking or yeah, uh, kind of isolated and being able to fabricate um, our own realities sort mm -hmm. of. And I think that fits very well to, to the feeling that I wanted to explore of, um, of projecting into um a person and yeah that kind of of um fantasy mm -hmm. of creating a fantasy of a person so i think that was very important for me and then also um i thought it was a good way of documenting the the ways um i dealt with having a crush and like um the way maybe I tried different coping mechanisms as like finding peers online or, mm -hmm. um, or uh, yeah, um, or what consuming a lot of media as music or 
films or television and then also kind of in in those uh, medias finding um, uh, like ways of um, of that of that topic mm -hmm. if that makes sense yeah yeah I think that really comes across because there's this one part in the film where you actually start talking about what you do when you when you have a crush or when you try to deal with it and then all of a sudden all these pop-up windows come up and and you have you know like a piece of a TED talk and you have a cut from Fleabag and you have all these all these mm -hmm. different parts um I yeah that that's kind of the thought that I had that that kind of um a confusion on the on the romantic or emotional level was kind of mirrored in a confusion in the in the sort of visual level there but that was also <laughs> kind of my interpretation i guess yeah, yeah. um yeah also um yeah you, ha you have that little piece in the beginning where you kind of um i guess you you kind of talk about how your film will will um have an effect on on the viewer in that in that you kind of say like oh yeah we get it um she's not with you um what what was the thought behind including that piece at the at the very beginning of the film um so you mean that part where it's just like the the actual beginning mm -hmm. where it's in the voiceover exactly yeah 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 um yeah that was also very important for me <clears throat> um because for me it um making this project was also a lot of about um the process of doing things and of going through feelings and um so i actually started um in my day-to-day -day life to to document my thoughts and to always with my phone like to um speak into my phone my thoughts and then to to film things that uh, felt very fitting to the to the topic and um yeah i thought that was very important for really documenting the kind of the immediate um effect of being in this being caught in these feelings mm -hmm. well i think one of the centerpieces of the film is kind of your talk with um florentina right yes with, okay with with florentina um and w one of the the kind of questions that i had was did did you inform her for uh, did you inform florentina first about y your intentions with with the film or was it more of a you know kind of spontaneous meeting and filming um, no, I did inform her about my ten intentions, um, and I told her that, um, that I was working on this project and that it was, um, like very important for me to have this level of interaction of like, um, because for me, all of these like desktop, um, footage and also the footage of my phone are very much like I said, isolated kind of, and like about my inner mm. um, thoughts. And to me, it was very important to have a level of interaction and um, in specifically in her case, it was very important to, to me to be able to like let the person um, who I always look at, look back. So le letting her look back and mm -hmm. um, get her perspective as well. Um, and also to, to kind of break free of this, always projecting mm -hmm. and in one direction. And I told her that, uh, I was very interested in kind of, um, yeah, getting her take on, on the experience kind of, yeah. and, um, and she, she was very open to that. And we, we had the talk about it. So the idea behind kind of pulling all these, the, private forms of thinking about um, your crush, pulling those into the open and kind of showing them and presenting them. The idea behind that was to kind of be free of that, of those feelings or to, to kind of deal with them or? 
Yes, <clears throat> I think um, some part was a desire to to process them and to um, to feel maybe more in control about feelings, even though that's probably impossible to <laughs> to be. But um, I think it felt more active than just being. Um, than just yeah being passive with with all of these feelings and doing nothing with them kind of mm -hmm. um and i also think for me it was important to or i always uh, i always used to wish that there were uh, like films or media on on that topic of like um on on requited uh, um love or just yeah, that, that kind of, of crush, because for me, uh, a lot of the portrayal of crushes um, are very positive and very mm -hmm. like kitsch. And um, it's always about the two people get, getting together and, or yeah. So I think for me, it was also uh, a wish to, to see that. And um, I thought I could kind of um, do that myself then. Yeah. I also felt that that was really refreshing about uh, your film that it didn't, you know, nudge into some sort of category where it is, oh yeah, well, I'm, of course, my crush feels the same way, or it tends to go into some very over dramatic kind of incredibly sad um, kind of avenue, B but you you dealt with it kind of like in a, in a <laughs> fairly realistic and still very emotional sort of fashion. And that's, that's fairly new. I, I felt in, in, um, uh, in dealing with it in a filmic way, um, concerning the, the, the different types of crushes that you have in the, in the film, you also <laughs> have a lot of footage of, of fruit being, being crushed to pieces or <laughs> even opened and closed. And, um, how did you, did you come up with that? idea um that i think also came out of the desire to to do something and um, be, become active mm -hmm. and um i think the idea really the idea came to me when i started to think about the word crush and what it means and then also um realizing that uh, a lot of the times it feels like being crushed and being crushed by these feelings and um, yeah, kind of wanting to, to turn that or uh, twist that and um, to be able to myself crush things and mm -hmm. uh, destroy things. And yeah. um, I think it was also a very um, like physical desire to do something with my body mm -hmm. um, and yeah, so it was really we um, we spent um, like several days in the studio just crushing uh, very many <laughs> things and like um, uh, more things than are than that are now in the movie, also different objects. And it was very, I think, um, a, an important part of the process of mm -hmm. the film making and also kind of cathartic to just mm -hmm. uh, yeah being able to to experience that. I think it was very important. Yeah, I can. I could imagine that it must feel very empowering to kind of, you know, yeah. crush something to pieces because, well, at least to me, that that feeling of having a crush and uh, having love that is unrequited is always about powerlessness to change somebody else's feelings, and then kind yeah. of doing something with your hands and your body to to. That, that is about power or regaining power that has a certain level of um, being in control again, I guess. Yeah, yeah very much. Um, now, one little part um, about the, uh, the cuts that you have in the film or the, the, the footage. Um, did, you, did you have like a long list of, of footage that you wanted to integrate into the film like for example the 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 cut from fleabag or the the ted talk or was it just on your mind all the time and you you already knew what you would put into it 
Um, I think it was different with the different examples. Um, but I did have a lot of, of footage um, of like Googling things and um, and also watching series that I tried out, but then it didn't work that well, or it didn't fit with the with the rest. And um, I, it was again very much um, also about the process. I didn't really plan it in the beginning. I, it was like I allowed myself to just consume media and then find parts. Um, where I, that resonated with me or that I thought were very, um, or where I found um, topics that, that matched with, with the topic of, of, yeah. of having a crush. And um, yeah, also the editing part was a lot of um, trying out and um, it was very like pro process oriented yeah. um, for me. Mm -hmm. I also had to like find out a lot of, um, for example, it was very important to me that I edited the the film on my own computer, mm -hmm. um, but I didn't know that at the beginning. Uh, so because it was a school project, we actually had like editing rooms with very great equipment. <laughs> um, but I uh, like during the process, I realized that it was very important for this project to actually have to like touch my computer um, mm -hmm. because it, it's, yeah, because the, again, it's like about that um, feeling of, of having a, uh, like an isolated computer or an isolated head. <laughs> I don't know. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So that was also something that really came in the process. Okay. Wow. Well, I, I think it translates really well because of uh, the pieces you have chosen, they, they fit really well together. And it kind of kind of shows that you have an emotional connection to them. And it and really translates well into the whole movie being that kind of, you know, that kind of language that, that says something about what it means to have a crush on somebody. Um, I think one last question um, for the end. Are you working on something new right now? Um, yes, I am now working on my um, graduation film. Mm -hmm. um, and it's again a documentary or um, essayistic form, kind of. Um, and like the working title is sarebbe stato which is Ital italian for uh, would have been mm -hmm. or it would have been and it's about um or like the, the question that is at the core of the film is um like what would have been or how would it have been like um if i grew up in the village where my grandparents are from which is a village in the very south of italy and kind of that is the the core question when well, now we're we're um uh just about to go into the shooting process oh wow. okay yeah that sounds pretty exciting actually yeah yes. okay so <laughs> i very much hope that it's gonna be also in the Berlinale in a, in a couple of well maybe next year or whenever it's gonna be finished um and right now i just want to thank you ella for for taking the time and um, I look very much forward to see you at the Berlinale. Thank you so much. I'm also looking forward a lot. All right. Take care. Thank you for having me. You too. Thank you.